<clears throat> I like to think of relationships in terms of food. I find it helps explain things. I need labels and instructions. Something, anything, to tell me what the hell humans are for. <laughs> I know what vitamins are for. Vitamin D bumps up your immune system. Vitamin B as in boy helps your nervous system. Oxytocin makes you feel good and protects your heart. Greens help your bowels. Fish keep your brain from congealing. Peppers, garlic, and ginger keep candida from setting up a fascist government in your intestines. And green tea? I don't know what green tea is for. <laughs> Information like this about people would be helpful. <laughs> Perhaps we could start with some basic operating instructions posted on people's foreheads. <laughs> Bobby. Do not leave in car and supervised or leave out in the sun. Warms your heart, but don't ask him to be responsible for anything. <laughs> Isabel, whatever you do, don't look her in the eye. <laughs> Jess, sexual object, use liberally. <laughs> Frank, do not ingest. <laughs> Wendy, under no circumstances add water. <laughs> Some foods have medicinal value. Perhaps people do too if they are used wisely under the supervision of a professional or at least with over-the-counter indications. Zachary, for best results, use only after boiling. Maria, good for allergies. Salt to taste. Discontinue if social phobia develops. <laughs> Some human interactions will definitely need a doctor's prescription. Take two people in the morning and don't take any more before 8 p.m. <laughs> Some people should never be taken without a prescription. Peter, user may experience drowsiness when operating. <laughs> Renata, do not take with milk. L'Oreal, best taken with other people. <laughs> Julieta, immediate multiple orgasms. Don't take while performing brain surgery or driving. <laughs> Sven, under no circumstances drink Sven by yourself. <laughs> I think it would be handy if people came with easy to read nutrition labels and information on what would happen if ingested. Tara, like drinking three Red Bulls. <laughs> Jack, very much what would happen if you ate a whole bag of Lay's potato chips in one sitting, once or twice a week. <laughs> Gwendolyn, like salad without the dressing. Yuri, like that bag of green M&Ms you ate in junior high. <laughs> Sherry, only used with alcohol or tranquilizers. <laughs> Gar, similar effect to eating bacon, eggs, and steak four times a week for 20 years. <laughs> Joey, one word, jello. <laughs> Saskia, a cage-free, antibiotic-free, republican-free meal, perfectly sautéed in butter, ocean-going tilapia with fresh organic seasonal garden vegetables and organic brown, brown rice with fresh side salad raised in PDX, that's Oregon, that's Portland, Oregon for those of you who are not organic enough. <laughs> <clears throat> Lee, so gay, she or he is like eating food that has not been fertilized by the opposite sex. <laughs> Only food produced by budding or parthenogenesis. And my perfect match, she tastes like cappuccino, chocolate, and cheese with a chaser of red wine. Thanks to all this information, I can now describe why love is like being hungry for your favorite kind of cheese. <laughs> I'm surrounded by cheeses, all kinds of cheese. I'm in a veritable smorgasbord of cheese. Gouda brie, cheddar goat, goat brie, pepper jack, hammer mill. Oh, no, wait, that's copy paper. <laughs> Sounds like, it should be a cheese. It sounds like a cheese. Anyway, I'm freaking surrounded by all the cheese in the universe, and of course, I'm wearing blinders. And all I can see is that little cube of inexpensive Swiss that I got at some drunken party somewhere. And that's what I want. And that's what I had. And no matter what, all I still want is that. Little square of cheese with the holes in it. Out of all the possible cheese in the megalopolis of dairy products, I just want that one. 
Just that one small piece of cheese. No other will do. Not another size, flavor, color, taste. I want the piece of cheese that only says things I don't want to hear and is completely unavailable. <laughs> and did I mention this detail that this one piece of little off yellow Swiss is so important to me that if I could just have it, nothing else would ever matter again. I would not want anything else ever because I'd achieved this bit of cheese and I could just die a happy woman sitting in a mouse trap. <laughs> Such is love. <laughs> Darling, you're my Swiss. <laughs> By the way, my indications read Debbie, use with caution. And if you read further, my pamphlet says, no known side effects, research pending. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.